<clears throat> okay. I got one really good request. Really good request for what for something to show. And it was just asked. Somebody said, Can you teach us how to get out of the front head rock the front head rock? That's awesome, because that's like a situation that is not very um, it's not a fancy move, but it's something we all need. You know what I mean? It's like one of those utility things. It's kind of like a sprawl. It's not fun to work on, but it's super important. So I'll definitely work on that. I want some other requests. What do you guys want to go over? How many people would like, would prefer to go over uh, leg attacks, sort of like setups for leg attacks? Or you want that? Okay. How many people prefer to go over uh, top? Turns and pins. Okay, how many people prefer bottom? Okay, so it's kind of like an even mix. Um, coach asked for some setup stuff. And we had some people with their hands up for setups. Okay, so I want to touch on a couple things there. I'll, I'll, how about I give you my two favorite setups for lady types? Do that. Um, you guys like singles or high crotch? After that, okay, I'll do one for each. And what I'm going to show you when I say, oh, you're right, oh where are you only doing this one thing? I'm going to give you my best thing, the thing that I scored the most takedowns with. So the high crotch setup I'm showing you, I probably scored well, I don't know, over 100 takedowns in college. Okay, and then the single leg setup comes kind of right off of it. So that worked really well for me. Um, Let's start with counter and front head and arm. Okay. Uh, can I have you put me in front of the bus? Now, who, who asked you this? Where did you go? Okay. What's your name? Awesome request, Michael. Is it a front head lock or a front head and arm? Doesn't matter. Okay, that's where I was coming. Okay, so when you get in the front head, I'm going to show it right here. Now, this is, most people are, most people are right handed. You're going to grab your chin. On your like down the bottom, you're gonna have your head on the left. You're gonna have your arm on the right. So what I try to do is three things. Okay, first thing I want to control this arm. So I try to grab up as high as I can by his elbow to pull it down. If I can suck that arm down, that's a benefit to me because it pull it holds him in front of me. Remember we did cowboy brown bull. If you were the Brahma bull, how many people were tempted to reach up and grab the guy to hold him still? Okay? If you can hold him out in front of you, he can't get behind you. So that's a good thing. If you can grab this arm and kind of hold him there, it makes it hard for him to go around you. Okay? The other thing that I want to do is my head right now is off the back side of his body. I want to take my head and put it to the other side of his body, like this. Now he loses his front head lock. I can pick my head right off foot. See it? That's all it takes to get out of the front head. If I hold that arm down, put my head to the opposite side, I'm going to get out. All i got to do now is move my feet and pull this arm back. Because his arm's down underneath your arm. You don't want to be here. Let me show you the whole thing at once. Okay, I have his arm here. I'm going to pull my arm back. Okay, and it's going to be hard. So you won't be able to pull it back like way, way far. All you need is a little bit to squeeze your head through. Okay, and now what I'll do is bring my hand back and try to grab like a Russian tie. See what I have? Okay, so I went from being in a front headlock to having a Russian tie. You guys like Russian ties? Two on one is very low. Okay, now the harder part. If I'm on my feet, it's easy because I can move really easily. If I'm on the mat, on my hands and knees, it's a little hard. So I'm going to show it to you down there. The reason I show it on our feet first is you can see under us. When we get on the mat, you're not going to see much happening. But now you already know what's happening. So. Here's the deal. Grab front head. Okay, I'm on the mat. He's got my hand. What first thing I want to do is get my hand on the ground. And in order to make him not be able to lift it anymore, I'm going to put that hand down only and push over it. Okay, I'm going to come up, grab his elbow. And now what I do is I take my body. You see, I take a big step up here. You guys see that? I'm going to pivot up and circle this direction. Okay, now he's not going to fall up. He's going to circle with me. But I'm going to wind up coming up to my feet. You're going to hear, if you watch that uh, Big Ten Network, 
the coaches in the corner will be yelling, circle up. Anytime you get in a front headlock, you want to circle up, get to your feet. If you're down on your knees, the guy's probably going to take you down when they get better. You've got to get up, and then you want to get your head out from under them. Don't want to be underneath the guy. Okay, so here's the deal. He's got my head, he's got my arm. I pull my arm back, I twist my body up, grab his elbow, and then I start to come up. Now, stay on top of me and circle with me. Okay, and I'm going to be up like this. Now, see how I have his arm down? This is why I can't get headlock. His arm's under. I'm going to bring my elbow that he has, that hand, he's going to come up and grab his wrist. I push it down, and my head comes out. Okay, that's how I work out of a front head. You can hit sucker drags and slide legs and try to knee tap on the really good guys, like fire wrestling Sanderson. I'm doing that. I'm not trying to sucker drag him or he's going to pancake me with that. You know what I mean? So that's the highest level that I've been on. Uh, you want to practice it? This is great for everyone. You're all going to hit in that position. Go out, have your partner grab a front 